viewers questions and product descriptions. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and welcome to another viewers questions video. Now in this video, I'm answering a question in regards to product descriptions, but if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer in a video, then leave it for me in the comment section or send me an email. My email is in the description down below. So pop me an email or leave me a question in the comment section to this video and I'll do my best to get that question answered for you. So the question that I'm answering in this video is, Hi Sam, thank you for this video. I am a bit confused though. I tried to keep my website up to date with current products available. What am I doing wrong then by telling the customers about my product, updated pages and videos as I create? I'm just not sure what information I would offer on my website that would better describe my product. Okay, so firstly, I would say I do have a video on creating product descriptions and I'll link to that in the description down below. So definitely go and check that video out um, in terms of the types of things that you need to be adding and including to your product descriptions to help you sell them better, the type of information that you should be giving out and offering to your website um, visitors so they know exactly what they're purchasing and you know enticing them as well to make a purchase from your, from your website. However, I would say that your product and your product descriptions, that is like the bare bones of your website. So people come to your site, yes, to make purchases sometimes, but I would say 85 to 90% of the people who come to your website won't be in the ready to buy mindset yet, or at least not ready to buy from your particular website. So you need more than just the bare bones to make a successful website and to be making sales through your website. So, you know, when you first set up your website, yes, you wanna make sure that you have a good storefront, that your products are listed well, and that your product descriptions are, you know, really well done up and, and stuff like that and you want to make sure you have a good home page a good about page a good contact us page and all of the important pages on your website however once your site is is set up that's just the bare bones and you want to create the meat around that website so you want to create the content around that site so you have to really think about you know what niche are you catering for it doesn't say in the question what product is being sold but i'm just going to put an example out there and say you know let's say you're selling toys for children or something like that on your website which is a very popular niche um, it's a very saturated niche but it is a very profitable one especially during the christmas time when we're coming to the christmas time now where you know children's toys is one of the, the biggest selling products online so let's say you are selling children's toys on your website and you know you list those products on your website you have a good product description and your website is finished now it's time for you to start building out content around that particular niche so think about your target audience is your target audience going to be uh, children or is your target audience going to be parents of children who are potentially looking for presents for their children so you might write things for parents such as you know uh, top five things to buy this Christmas for your child or something like top five educational toys for children you know things that are really interesting and engaging for parents to read and as a result of your interesting content then you can get people to subscribe to your email list as I, as I speak about in other videos. So you might have a lead magnet on your website, which might be something, you know, maybe explaining five ways in which you can better engage with your child uh, using homemade toys or something like that. And people can download that for free. And once they download that for free, you give them the guide, but you also have their email address. And let's say you've been doing that all year, accumulating leads by, you know, giving people this free guide to engaging with their children. And it comes to November slash December time, you can actually have a sale on your website and you have maybe a database of 5,000 people that you've accumulated over the last year. And you can say to them, hey, 10% off um, your late, 10% uh, off our children's toys this Christmas. And, you know, because you know the people on your database are, parents then this is going to convert better for you because you have a database of people who are interested potentially in what you're selling on your website and that's just an example but your website um, like i've been saying it shouldn't just be about creating a really good product description yes that's important it's important to have all of those pages on your site once you've created those those pages 
you know, it's, it's not just about you leaving your website alone and not touching it and expecting sales to just come in. Now that does work for some people. Um, if you've managed to get your website ranked and it's ranking for a keyword that is really popular and really working for you and people are coming in through the site and making purchases, then that's great and that's awesome. But the reality of it is, number one, those sales are probably not gonna be as consistent as you want them to be. And number two, even if you are ranking for a keyword that is quite popular, the majority of the people who visit your website are not going to make a purchase the first time they come so it's important that you try and retain their information bring them back to your site and market to them consistently through emails so in other words once your website has been fully created the most important page to you in terms of your marketing then becomes your blog page now this is a page that is hugely underestimated and a lot of people are sleeping and you know that they say in that article marketing isn't working and i'm going to be doing a video on article marketing hopefully next week so make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you're not already so you don't miss that video but it's important to remember that your product pages is for you as a company that's how you make your money that's how you get people to depart with their cash and to purchase one of your products or your services but you need to make your website attractive to your customers what is drawing them to your website what is the appeal for your potential customers to visit your site are you giving them useful information is it handy for them to come and visit your website and download one of your systems or download a guide or download a pdf that's going to help them in some sort of way either take care of their children better or advance their education in some way or something entertaining you have to think what can you what can you do other than just your product how can you better serve your target customers what information can you put on your site that's going to entice them that's going to educate them that's going to entertain them and that's going to make them want to stay on your website download whatever it is that you have as a lead magnet and you know what information can you send them via email that's not only going to make them want to make further purchases from you but that's going to want to retain them as potential customers so hopefully this video makes sense to you it's not just about having your product description pages but it's also about having pages on your site and articles on your site that's useful and that your potential customers will want to read and engage with and this just stresses the importance of email marketing if you're not doing email marketing yet and you don't have some sort of sales funnel in place for your website then I strongly suggest you check out my sales funnel videos and my email marketing videos I'll leave a few of them in the description down below make sure you go and watch them it's extremely important you know if your website is just a website that has a home page and about us page a product or a services page and a contact contact us page and maybe it does have a blog page but it doesn't have much content on there then I highly suggest that you watch some of my content marketing videos as well and this will explain probably why you're not getting the type of attraction and the type of sales to your website as you hoped when you first created it. But if this video it did help you out, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day and I will see you soon.